Hello everyone, it's Alexis here, and welcome to a new Card Fight Vanguard Zero video. Today, I'm going to be opening some packs from the new set, and I'm going to apologise, my voice seems a little sore today, I don't know why, but yeah, if I sound a little weird, my throat's being a bit weird, so anyway, <laughs> to get that out of the way, we should probably um open some packs, so yeah, I really don't know what's wrong with my voice today, it's really strange, but um... Yeah, we have to go to the shop here. There's Misaki Tokura. I hope you guys are having a nice day, by the way. I like Misaki. She's cute. But, um, this is going to be a shorter video. I just wanted to show off these packs. And then, um, once I open these packs, I can focus on the ranked season. And I might make some, like, player versus player videos. And I'm going to show off the new event, which has Kyo Yahage. And it basically introduces a clan called Spike Brothers. And they're essentially like football styled spiky boys who are very aggressive. So that's pretty cool. But um, let's get into these packs. I really hope you guys are having a great day, by the way. It's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been super busy helping my family with work. So um, a bit like Misaki. So <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering where I've been, that's where I've been at the moment. And, um, yeah, some things get in the way. Like, depression's a thing too, but, um, I'm doing my best to get through it, but, um, anyway, let's check out the packs. So you've got to go to the Garcha. There's Edel Rose, my favourite Dark Irregular unit. So we have nine free packs, that's actually really good. I did all of the, um, character fights, there you go. I was trying to think, and you get free packs by, um, doing all three missions. I believe you get a pack for um, being each character in each mode without um, taking more than 4 damage. So yeah. But anyway, there are 3 banners. The OG banner, which I'm not going to do. Because it basically has less cards. And we can get the same cards in the new banners anyway. And we want the new cards because they're really good. But um, this is the Dark Irregular one, which has Dark Irregulars, Pale Moon Circus, and Dimension Police. But I'm personally going for this one. Because... Because it has the, um, sorry my throat's being weird. Basically it has the really cute Bermuda Triangle clan, which are like mermaid idols. And they're as cute as they sound. That was Riviere, that was Riviere just then. I really can't talk today. Um, that's Pacifica. And, um, it also features the new Oracle Think Tank, um, Tsukiyomi, which is my favourite clan. And it also has the new Perfect Razor for Nova Grappler, which is this, like, Gundam looking thing, thing here. Which is really awesome. But yeah, I want to keep moving because um, I really can't talk today and I'm struggling a bit with my throat. So um, yeah, that's um, I, I don't mean to be annoying guys, but yeah. Anyway, let's open some packs to change the subject. It's a little strange. The pack art is the original pack art, but these are new packs, I assure you. So we have nine free packs essentially that I've kind of earned. And then I can open up to 24 other packs, which I probably will do. So let's do the gotcha. I think my voice is giving up on me today. I haven't done anything strenuous either, so it's strange. So something cool here is we got the um, guaranteed triple rare, like animation. This like rainbow aura is really cool. But yeah, let's see what we get. Most of this stuff will be new, but we will get some old units too. Well, we got Feluca, the really um, the Muna Triangle unit at the top right who has really big assets. She's really cute. Um, she's actually really helpful too. She's one of my favourites. She's really cute. But yeah, I don't know. My voice seemed okay and now I've started to record and it's just dying for some reason. I have no clue why. But um, I hope you guys are doing good. Make sure to like the video if you enjoy these pack opening videos and Vanguard Zero. I'd really appreciate it because um, my computer's old and it takes a long time for my computer to render the video so <laughs> I'd really appreciate a like but anyway I'll keep opening packs and shut up now <laughs> so oh we got a new um, oracle unit that's pretty cool I'm just gonna keep opening because we have quite a few packs to go through here you'll probably notice a lot of cute mermaids compared to before that's the new Bermuda Triangle clan I might quickly show you guys my Bermuda deck and um my oracle deck at the end of this video just to show off what I currently got after this pack opening 
Yay, we, I got my first Tsukiyomi. That's the card I really want. That's like the top card I need. So I need four of those, but I got my first one there. So that's really awesome. Super happy with that poll. Very happy. Because before this, I've just been playing Bermuda Triangle, which is really cool, but um, my clan I'm focusing on is Oracles, and Bermuda will be my secondary clan. So um, yeah, and then I'll go from there. Another Feluca. That's really cool. I'm just going to have a quick drink, guys. Okay. I think that's a little better. Sorry for the pause there. Oh, I got the um, Grey 2 Tsukiyomi. And it's glossy. So that's really good. Yeah, I apologise. My last couple of Vanguard videos were a lot um, smoother than this one. But I'm struggling because obviously I can barely talk today for some reason. But um, yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking by me, even when I sound a bit weird. But yeah, let's carry on. Even if we just got Tsukiyomi, I'd still be happy with this specific pulse. Oh, and we got another grade 2 Riviera. That's amazing. That's for Bermuda Triangle, so that's really good. So I've already got four Riviera. Because I pulled loads of them for some reason. So that's going to be converted into currency I can use to craft other cards. But she's really cute. She's part of a ride chain. Which means if you get all three of the Riviers. One after another when you ride them. You get bonuses. And it's really strong. And if you ride the, the grade 1 on the grade 0. Each turn you get to search the top few cards for a Riviere. So it makes your deck more consistent. Which is really good. These new sets have introduced like ride chains, that's what they're called, where you have to get the same one and keep grading up um, in order with a specific unit. Because I know Kagero have got the Amber Dragons, and um, Oracles, which I'm trying to build, have Tsukiyomi, so that's really cool. But this is Goddess of the Full Moon Tsukiyomi. Um, if she has six or more cards in the soul, you can count a last two to draw two cards and put a card from your hand into the soul. So that's really cool. It's like a... You use um, the soul as kind of an extra currency, so your other units will use the soul to gain power. So it's a way to generate power. So it's really cool. And I think you can also yeah you can also draw cards as well by using the soul. So that's really cool. And we got our first half moon Tsukiyomi, the Grade Two version. Oops, I meant to use gems, not tickets. Another reason I really want to rank up is because um. There are two characters you can unlock. Um, it's there's like skins for the other clans. So for Royal Paladin, you can get Corin, the um, member of Ultra Rare who uses Royal Paladin. You can also get um, Yuri, who's the um, part of Teen Caesar who uses Dimension Police, and she uses Enigmans, which is my favorite um, Dimension Police sub clan. But yeah, if you guys don't know Vanguard, it's basically like they use certain decks I like, but um. You basically get a currency each time you get a pack. And if you get 200, you can unlock a new skin. So that's really cool. And um, so I need to open 400 packs this season. Which I might not do, but I'm going to try. But I need to do, start doing rank fights. So I need to open these packs for you guys. So let's open another 10 packs here. Hopefully we get lucky. I want more Tsukiyomi. And Top Idol Pacifica for Bermuda Triangle. So we only got the double rare thing here. Oh, we got um, Imperial Daughter. That's a unit for Oracles, which I play. So that's really good. She has the interesting restraint mechanic where you have to pay a cost to let her attack. So that's very interesting. But yeah, these are really cool. Now I think about it, it's probably best I show off my decks in a separate video. Because it's not very relevant to a pack opening. But I might just go over them quickly just to show you what numbers are for the cards I've got and then I'll tell you what they do another time. I'm also trying to get this video done a little quicker because um my voice just is just dying today for some reason. So we'll just go from there and see how it goes. But make sure to hit the like button if you're enjoying this. And um, subscribe and hit the bell because then you get notifications for when I upload a video. And yeah, I have the link to my Twitter, Patreon, and my Instagram stuff down below. So if you're interested in that, make sure to um, check me out there. I give you guys updates on those things. 
and also I'm thinking of bringing back my discord so yeah that should be fun but yeah let's keep opening packs shall we oh we got a um double rare that's really cool I believe that's Rio school rock Rio or something so you got another glossy Bermuda unit that's really cool opening packs is really fun in this game Oh, we've got the triple round animation. That's really cool. That means we're going to get something good, guys. Hopefully, um, it's Oracles or Bermudas. Preferably Oracle Think Tank. But yeah, I was just saying, I really like the way this game does packs. Because the more you play, the more you get rewarded. So, it incentivizes you to keep playing. And you actually get something for putting your time in. So, that's really cool. That's another reason to play this game. Okay, we got Rivia. That's the Bermuda unit. That's the cute mermaid. That's really cool. The game definitely wants me to build um Bermuda Triangle, like it did with Kagero last season. But um, we got Gancelot there for Royal Paladin. That's actually my first Gancelot, funnily enough, even though I opened loads of packs last season. So that's really good. Oh, and another double rare. Oh my goodness, I got an SP Pale Moon Perfect Guard. I believe it's Pale Moon. Oh no, it's Dark Regular, my bad. Sorry, um, Pale Moon has like animal stuff. Oh yeah, it's the Nightmare Land. Perfect God for Dark Regulars. That looks so cool. I'm very lucky to pull that. SPs are really rare in this game. And you know it's an SP because it's got an animated back. Like the back of the card has animation. So that's really awesome. That's super lucky. Like, most people would probably, um, be quite jealous if they played Dark Regular, because, um, if you can get SPs for the clans you like, then, um, it's really fun. But just getting one in general is amazing, so that's really cool. I believe you can also decraft SPs for a lot of crafting material, but I probably won't ever uncraft a, um, or disenchant a, um, SP. So let's open another 10 packs here. This is going really well so far. Another triple rare, guarantee. Okay, now we're talking. I'm also pretty tired today, so that might be why my voice is a little funny too. I just thought I'd mention that. Getting a lot of um, glossy cards as well. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, we got my favourite Bermuda unit called Rivia. She's so cute. I'll show you her in a minute. That's so cool. That's going in my deck for sure. We got another double rare. I'll have to look at what that one is. Another Imperial door. This is really good, guys. We're doing really good. I'm opening these a little quick because um we got a lot of cards to go through. Another glossy Bermuda unit. Oh, we got another shock a lot for um, Oracle Think Tank. That's some more crafting material. I could have really gone for that last season when I was trying to get shock a lots really fast, but um, it's all good because um, I can use that extra crafting material to make another Tsukiyomi. So that's really good. Got the another copy of Twin Blader. That's good. Twin Blader. Another grade 2 Rivia, which is going to be crafting material again. Okay, so we got um, Beast Knight Garmor. That's a Royal Paladin unit. That's really cool. And this is Rivia. She's like the cutest thing ever. The depth of her voice can be compared to the deepest sea trenches. When your drive check reveals a grade 3, return a rear guard to your hand to call a card from your hand to an empty rear guard circle. So it basically lets you do extra attacks, which is really powerful. And in Vanguard Zero, the tricky units are uh, grade zero, but in this game they're grade three. So whenever you pull a grade three and you have a unit which gets a boost when you pull a grade three, it's basically getting two effects at once, so, so it's really powerful. So that's really awesome. But yeah, I guess I'm building Bermuda. I'll show you what I've got at the end, you'll see why I'm saying that, but um, gotta go for Think Tank, it's my favourite. So you've only got four more packs now. I've got a bit more energy from um, the really good pulls, so that's really good. I'm sorry, like, I'm pretty depressed a lot of the time, so I moan a lot. 
So, I apologise if you guys get mad at me when, for like the first couple minutes of a video, I start moaning and apologising. It's just how I am. I don't mean to be like that. If you guys, um, don't think I'm doing anything wrong, just let me know. So I can stop moaning or, you know, apologising for no reason. But yeah, the last four packs are coming. As usual, I talk too much. <laughs> I think we got another Bermuda Double Wrath. Yeah, definitely. That's so cool. Looks like I'm using the Kawaii Idol Bermudas to go up ranked by using Miss Emmy, which is the main character's sister in this anime slash game. Emmy Sendo. Okay, so that's the last of the packs there. We pulled um, Bermuda Princess Lena. During your turn, if you have four or more rear guards, this unit gets plus 3,000 power. When placed, return all of your rear guards to your hand. That is really good, actually, because it lets you reuse abilities when you call them. That's actually really good. I didn't know she was that good. So let's have a little look at um, my decks really quick, because this video is getting quite long now. I'll make sure um, I show you this really quick, though. So, yeah. It's just loading. There was Shin there, the shop manager. Okay, so this is Oracle Think Tank, and Misaki is the person that plays them. And um, I think my computer's being pretty loud because I'm recording it through my computer, my audio. I don't know why it's like screaming. But yeah, this is pretty much my deck. At the moment, my ace is CEO Amate Rosu, and I'm probably not going to put Tsukuyomi in straight away because you kind of need quite a few of each of the Tsukuyomi to make it powerful and useful. But I'll definitely probably add this to my deck. I forgot I had this a while ago. But it all works with um, Tsukuyomi, which is this really cute unit. Calm the lost souls of darkness and guide them to heaven, Moonshadow Magatama. Had another drink. So I'll show you each form of Tsukiyomi. So this is the final one. And then the Grade 2 Tsukiyomi. She looks like. Let me find her. I pulled one earlier. So I'm kind of blind. I need glasses. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's the Grade 2 Tsukiyomi. So she gets bigger. bigger. She like grows up um, the more you ride up. So, she says, close your eyes and feel the light glowing deep within your heart. That is the light of hope. So, basically, you'll notice with these skills, it says, like, search for the next part of the ride chain when you ride this unit. So, or at the start of the turn you're going to ride. Yeah, I'm struggling to talk again. But, if you guys don't know Vanguard, I'm not going to keep going on. But, um, I hope you guys have gotten into it because I've played it. It's really fun. So, this is the first Tsukiyomi. Even though it is complete darkness now, light will one day shine through. And then the starter for the Tsukiyomi deck is Godhawk Ichibiyoshi. He's like this cute little bird thing. When a Godhawk decides to soar, it marks the end of darkness. So Tsukiyomi is all about bringing light to the world. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's my starter right now, Lozenge Magus. She's really cute and pretty. And finally, this is... Emi Sendo. She plays Bermuda Triangle. And this is the cute mermaid clan. I'm going to have to upgrade this deck a lot. So, um, currently I have four Riviera. I'm not showing all the units off, but this is Feluca. She's pretty cool. <laughs> She's got to pump it up, guys. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, the main unit is this one for the ride chain. It's Riviera. So she's really pretty. Bermuda's are all about, like, making people happy and entertaining them with music, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so we... This one's cute. I like Kiram. And uh, this is the one we pulled, Lena. And yeah, we pulled Reindeer, so she's going into the deck as well. But I think I'll probably stop recording here. I'll turn the gameplay off now. My computer's got its work cut out for it. But I hope you enjoyed this kind of unorganized um, pack opening video. I hope you really enjoyed it, but I won't keep this going too long. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with my um, 
strained voice today. But, uh, yeah, I might need to rest it for today and then um, record again tomorrow. Because I wanted to make a reaction today, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make a very good one. But thank you so much for watching. And um, please stay safe because um, I love you guys. You know what's going on right now. So just stay inside and be safe if you can. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye. If you've got this far, make sure to type hashtag zero in the comment section below for Vanguard Zero. Thank you so much, guys.